Hey everyone, welcome back to my next video. So today I'm going to start a brand new series about the create mod that came out a couple months ago. Now I've noticed after using this mod for a couple of weeks that there aren't really many tutorials out there about this mod and most of them are like 25 plus minutes long and they get very annoying and lengthy to watch and I definitely don't have that much time so I'm going to try to get through this mod very quickly. Uh, and basically every one of these episodes are going to be broken up into stages, so you can follow this right in a survival world just like myself. Um, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and create the water wheel and the mechanical press, and then that will start you on making more advanced machines, which will happen in the later episodes. Now, if you're interested in this series, I'll be uploading videos about this over the next couple of weeks, so go ahead and drop subscribe. Other than that, let's jump right into this. Now, if we open up this chest, this top row is everything you're going to need for this video. Now, Depending on how advanced and how complicated you make your machines, you might need a little bit more uh, of extra materials. That being said, uh, this will cover everything I create inside of the video. Um, if you do need extra materials, it'll just be more andesite and more iron nuggets, which are pretty common to be able to find in this world. Now, the 19 blocks of glass just need to be any types of blocks. I'm using glass just as a way for you guys to be able to see what's kind of going on behind the blocks that I'm placing. Uh, but let's go ahead and grab all of our materials and we'll start crafting. So first thing we're going to do, go over to our crafting table. We're going to take our iron nuggets. We're going to take our andesite, just like so. Just got to do them opposites, just like this. And they will create andesite alloys. So we can make all seven of those. This is a very common recipe. Andesite alloys are used in a majority of the crafting recipes in Create. So definitely stock up on your andesite. Now, next thing we're going to go ahead and make is a big cog wheel because we're going to be trying to make a uh, water wheel. And the way you do that is take four buttons, take four planks and an andesite alloy in the middle, and it creates two large cog wheels. Now, we only need one, so I'm just going to leave one down there, um, but it will create two, and you can hold on to this one for a later time. So the next thing we're going to have to do is go ahead and create our water wheel. So if we click on water wheel, you can see you put the large cog wheel in the center. We put a bunch of jungle saplings around the outside and it creates a water wheel. You can click just like that. Uh, next step is to go ahead and create these guys, the shafts. And that is just simply two andesite alloys and it creates eight of them. We actually only need one. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and place the one down there. But you can hold on to the seven just like the cog wheel right over there. Uh, after that, we're just going to go ahead and have to create our uh, mechanical press. So to make a mechanical press is a little bit more advanced. Um, let's start with making the andesite casing. So if we click on that, it's just two andesite alloys, some kind of log, and six planks. And it makes four of them. Again, we only need one, so we'll put the extras over there. Uh, and then after that, we need to make... Um, little cog wheels and little cog wheels are just buttons around an andesite alloy and it makes eight of them again we only need one so we'll put the one down there we can hold on to the seven as extras or excuse me we actually need two we can hold on to the extras like that and then now that we've crafted those we can open up the mechanical press everything else is crafted we'll click plus and boom we have a mechanical press we are all good to go um, so we'll go ahead and get that set up I'm just gonna go ahead and sleep first all right, I just went ahead and slept really quick. I didn't want any creepers or anything to blow us up. Uh, all of these extras, we can just go ahead and throw right into here, including those cog wheels. Um, and then everything else, we'll go ahead and hold on to. So this, uh, what is it? This water wheel doesn't necessarily have to be in an ocean or a lake or anything. Technically, it just needs a one water source block. I'm going to put it against my house just for some aesthetic, but you can do this underground. You can do it above ground. You could technically do it right here if you wanted to. Um, but for aesthetic, I'm going to place it right on the side of my house. Now, I'm going to place it right here. And you can see as I've placed it, you can kind of see these fans are turning like this. Now, this is not the direction that I was looking for. Now, you got to keep that in mind for these water wheels. Because even if you place a water block on this block and it spins around this, it will spin the wheel. But it won't be as effective as if the blades are uh, facing the correct way. Now, the way to fix that is that you simply just lean towards it. See if I can do yeah, there we go. Sorry, I had to place it. So you just got to place it correctly. Um, later in this, you can actually make a wrench, and that'll fix that as well. Um, but for now, we don't need to worry about that. Next step is to place a block right here, and I'll explain that in a second on what that's doing. Uh, next, we're just going to place some blocks around here. This is going to make it so that the water that is going around the wheel is not going to uh, mess us up at all. Uh, just had to grab some dirt really quick so we can get up here. And we'll place one more block just like so. We're going to go ahead and place our water like that. 
And as you can see, I'll break this dirt like so. Uh, you can see our wheel is now spinning perfectly. And you can see it's actually generating some energy, which I will use a shaft to pull. Now, there's not actually energy in this, um, but the way it works is if I break this, you can see the wheel is now spinning right here. If I attach a shaft, now the shaft is spinning. Every one of these machines, um, the mechanical press and other different machines, needs some kind of either gear to turn them or they need to be connected to a shaft or a gearbox. Now, gearboxes I'm going to go over in the next episode. They're not too advanced, but they allow the shafts to be moved into different directions. But as simple as making a mechanical press to work, you're just going to place it on here. Now, you can actually see that this thing is spinning, meaning that you technically could connect more shafts to this and connect it to further machines. But to prove that this works, we're just going to grab some iron, like so, throw it underneath, and you can see it comes down, and bam, now we have an iron sheet. Now, these sheets um, are going to be used in the next couple episodes, but this is a nice way to get it uh, as an introduction into making a mechanical press work and making the water wheel per work perfectly. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know that this was very basic. We didn't accomplish a lot, but the next video I'm going to dive deeper into explaining this and taking some time with this mod pack because it can be a little bit more confusing than the other ones. Uh, but once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to go ahead and subscribe if you want to watch the rest in this series, and I will see you guys in the next video.